Hey guys, and welcome back to Life on Stilts. Today, I will be showing you guys my favorite products from the Fenty Beauty Collection by Rihanna. So Rihanna is coming out with a new foundation. And when I saw that, it just made me think about all the products that I've gotten from her that I really, really like. And I thought that it would be a great idea for me to share with you some of the products that I have that are so amazing to me. I buy a lot of makeup, but I will say Rihanna did a great job with the products that she's been putting out in her line. I think that there's a lot of thought that goes into it. And with that, you know, of course it's Rihanna and I've always been a fan of her, so I had to show support, but if her products were trash, there's no way that I'd be giving her as much of my money as I have since she's been coming out with these makeup and beauty products. So I have about maybe like six or seven items here. There is one thing that I did forget to bring with me that I really want to recommend. I will talk about that before we get started. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to show your support. I would really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay, so first I have the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I have it in Fenty Glow. This lip gloss is the Shiznai, okay? Like, I've never had a lip gloss better than this. This is probably my third or fourth tube. This is the first lip gloss that she came out with. It also comes in Diamond Milk, which is like a pearly, it looks white in the bottle, but it's really like, it's clear. It's like a translucent, speckle diamond speckle um lip gloss that i really really like but this one is my favorite like i will buy this until i die like i will be 90 hopefully i make it to 90 in my fancy glow okay this is the shit All right and it also she also has one called fussy um which is a little bit pinker than this one um but fancy glow go to it's nothing too like it doesn't have like too much of a pigment to it but it's not completely clear either it's just great and it smells really good and also in the with the handle this is a mirror as well i always kind of check after i do my lip gloss if i'm not if i'm not using um uh, a mirror to put it on i always look here good to go uh before i put it on um what i have on my lips now is the Fenty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in Hint Hint. I love this too. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> I love this. This is $18. So kind of pricey. Like I said, her stuff is not the cheapest, but I do think that it's worth it. It smells so good. Next, I have the Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick. So this is an exfoliator. This is one of the newer items. Um, so it's basically like a little stick. As you can see, I have used it. Um, but it works really, really great. When you're wearing like matte lipstick and stuff, you wanna make sure that there is no flaking or anything on your lips. Otherwise, you will see it right through the lipstick and that shit is tacky. So. This is $16. I haven't used it much, but it works really, really well. So I usually use this and I follow it up with the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. Um, it's, it's called Hint Hint. Now this doesn't have like that much of a smell to it, but I do think that it's extremely hydrating. Um, it leaves a nice gloss, nothing too overpowering. It's great. This is also $18. Um, so I'm hoping that it lasts long because $18 for a lip balm is a little, eh, it's a little pricey, but like I said, I'm a fan of Rihanna and I also have a problem with buying things, but I do like it. So next I have the Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in the color Cause I'm Black. Cause I'm Black though. Anyway, I was on the fence about buying this because this is $20, $20. And I've never spent like $20 for eyeliner, but I waited a little bit after it came out and I was checking the reviews and someone in the review said that <laughs> 
they were in the back of a taxi cab crying their eyes out and all this stuff and when they got out of the taxi and looked in the mirror that their eyeliner was still completely intact and I had to that sold me I'm like oh now I gotta try that because the one thing I hate is liquid eyeliner that just smears and transfers like that's not cute I got this and I really do like it um has a very nice point to it so it makes it very easy to be precise very pigmented it's just eyeliner you know of course there's other eyeliners that are out there but I had to try it to say I tried it next I have the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo now I have it in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule, but there are eight different sets. So eight sets, two colors in both. I think in every single one, the colors are supposed to complement each other. So one is just like, a, they're both very pigmented highlighters, like you're going to see them. And you can also mix them together. That's why I said that they're supposed to complement each other. One is like a little less like loud as the other i guess is the for, the best way for me to say it um but showing it in the light you can't really see it well i'll like post a picture of it um but seeing it in the light they both look very shimmery which is good because i mean you know you're gonna be glowing sis glow 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 but i really love this it's super super cute now the kilowatt freestyle highlighters are 36 dollars, but i've had this for a long time and as you can see still very much there so again a little pricier but i think it's worth it so that's ginger binge so this is ginger binge and this is moscow mule and they're so soft and they blend so well like that's important because you don't want that rough line that doesn't look blended with any of your other makeup on your face that shit is tacky i've been saying tacky a lot okay so moscow mule ginger binge moscow mule ginger binge so you can see they're not that much different one is just like a little bit more pink than the other but when you mix them together too it's just like a you popping, you popping. <laughs> I'm in a goofy ass mood today. I don't know why. Okay, next we have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have it in the color Nutmeg. I just use this as a finishing powder. I will say in the summertime, I've been summer proofing my makeup. So basically before I put on my liquid foundation, I dust this over my face ahead of time. And that way, if you are sweating or like oily in hot climate, you start to sweat, the powder will absorb that and keep your makeup in place. It's been working pretty well. I really, really like it. I just came back from Mexico, so I got pretty dark. All I can use it as right now is a base before I put my foundation on because otherwise, if I try to put this on my foundation, over my foundation, I would probably look a little Casper-ish and that ain't cute. But this is $32, but they also have minis for $18. So if you don't wanna go hard or go home and get the big one, you can just get the small one, which in reality I probably should have got. But I think when I first got these, the minis weren't out yet. It's so soft, it's so soft. It goes on so seamlessly which is i think is so great and because it makes it so much easier for me to put under my foundation i don't have to worry about it looking crazy as hell being smooth see see it looks a little ashy a little bit so i just put it under to hold my makeup in place and honestly i'm probably going to be doing that even when the summer ends because i tend to have kind of oily skin so if this is going to keep my face snatched I just kind of got to blend it out Plus, you know, once your foundation is down and you put this over it, like, it won't be as ashy. See? Blend, baby. Blend. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it. <laughs> okay, so some items that I forgot to bring with me that I really, really want to talk about. It's probably one of my favorite things. 
that Rihanna has put out is that body lava luminizer. It is everything. I absolutely love the luminizer. I have it in brown sugar and trophy wife. I haven't used the trophy wife yet because honestly these bottles are pretty big and heavy and most of the time that I go somewhere is when I'm going out of town and I could only take either or and I know that the brown sugar is more so like better for my complexion than the trophy wife is so I just have to like I only can take one it just really gives you an undeniable glow that like everybody's going to notice it just makes your outfit like your whole look pop more so I use the body luminizer with the face and body kabuki brush that she has so the body luminizer is $59 very pricey it smells really good it goes on very very nicely and it lasts a long time I'm sure I'll have them both for hmm, probably the next like two summers or so the kabuki brush is $34 now of course you can apply it with just your hands but you know that you're gonna have to wash your hands after because it's gonna be all over. I personally prefer the Kabuki brush. It just goes on better, in my opinion. The formula is a little sticky, but I found that if you apply it in light layers, you will be sticky free. Last but not least, we have the Mademoiselle Matte Lipsticks. She has these in a ton of colors. So what I have with me is Clapback and Violet Fury. These two are my favorite of all the ones that I bought. These are $18 if I didn't say that. So Clapback is like a navy blue, which is a color that, you know, I wouldn't normally go for, but I really, really wanted to try it. And I really like this. So this is like really cute for the fall. Like, you know, sometimes you gotta step out your comfort zone, sis. Try some a little different. And when I wear them, my lips don't get all feathery and dried out and whatnot. Probably because I put something on under it. That's very important, ladies. Make them dry ass lips. All right, and this is Violet Fury, which is obviously like a purple. Another loud color. But I do like that about Rihanna. You know, she's never been one to kind of like be in a box. Like she's always setting a trend and doing something different. So I wasn't surprised at all that when she came out with her lipsticks that they had a bunch of like loud and not ordinary colors. So this is Violet Fury. Lit. So those are my top picks from the Fenty Beauty collection. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the products, please, please, please leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.